As programmers, we don't have much time to follow a 20 hours Next.js 13 tutorial. So now I'm gonna provide you with the basics of programming in Next.js 13 in less than you can imagine. If you're not familiar with Next.js, it's a React framework that makes it really easy to build server rendered and static websites. Make sure you stick till the end so you can start working on your skills right away. Spoiler alert, it won't get you bitch. To get started with Next.js, you have to create a project folder, then go inside your terminal and write with me. npx create next app add latest. It will ask you a couple of questions, and since I won't be easy on you in this tutorial, we'll go the hard way. TypeScript yes, ESLint TS, Tailwind yes, source directory yes, and app route yes. Now you have the project, time to leave all your distractions and focus with me. The basics of Next.js are really simple. All you need to do is create a component for each page in your website, then you can use the next link component to create links between your pages. For example, let's say you want to create a website with two pages, a home page and a contact page. You would create two components, home and contact, and then use the next link components to create links between them. Once you have your components created, you can start serving your website using npm run dev. This will start a development server on port 3000. Now let me ask you a question. What do you call a Next.js developer who's really bad at their job? A Reactless developer. What the f That wasn't f***ing funny! Where'd you get it? Google Bard. I always knew you were an AI dog. I'm sorry, but as an AI model, I don't give a f*** about your opinion. Anyways, to start writing your components, you can create components folder directly in the root directory. The reason we didn't create it in the app directory is because the app directory should only contain files that are represented as routes. You know, Next.js 13.4. Now let's create a component called presentation.tsx for example, and run the local host. Now this component we just created is server side by default, but what if you want to make it client side? Well, go to the top of this sh and just write use client and this will turn it into a client side component. The important question is when should I make my components client side and when should I leave it? First of all, it's leaving you by default just like your ex girlfriend Generally, it is recommended to leave everything server side inside the app directory unless you absolutely have to make it client side. So basically shut the up and keep everything on default unless your code is busting errors everywhere. Now about routing, let's say you want to make a hot chicks route. You have to do it this way, navigate to your app directory and create a folder named hot chicks and you're good to go. Also if you want to create nested routes just keep nesting folders and that will result in nesting routes. Now for the part we all f hate, data fetching. I'll make it as quick as possible. Get your JSON placeholder API link, go to your page.js inside hot checks, and then just write with me. Create your asynchronous function and give it the params. Then fetch your data in a variable called result and catch your using a variable called data. And you're good. Oh for God's sake, don't you see? It's not what it's supposed to be like. Let's edit this code. Go ahead and assign no store to the cache. The cache no store option tells Next.js not to cache the data returned by the fetch request. That means that the data will be fetched from the server every time the component is rendered. And that's exactly what we need. Now you're good. And do not forget that I still have a couple of seats left in my mentorship program in the description down below. And if you want to know why you could be out of job if you got lazy, just watch this video right here. And Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video.